Hey guys, it's Aetherius here. Kali is set to be released in Global Maple Story in the upcoming Savior patch, and in order to prepare you a little bit for her, I will be showcasing all of her skills. She is a Flora Assassin, meaning she is in the same class group and shares the same cash shop as Adele, Ark, and Ilium. It's also important to note that she will be the first new class that can be Terra Burn immediately after her release. So let's get right into it. Her link skill is basically a life steal and an MP steal. As upon attacking an enemy, you recover 2% HP and MP for 5 seconds, but there is a cooldown of 30 seconds. More importantly though, her link skill permanently increases your damage by 5%. This might be a good link to have if you're struggling to survive in a boss, but honestly, I don't really see much of a point in using it since there are better utility skills and other link skills that provide better damage as well. Right off the bat, Kali gets flash jump and her up jump in first job advancement, thank god. To use the up jump, simply jump, hold up, and then jump again to activate it. Unfortunately, you cannot flash jump after using your up jump, but this problem was solved with the next skill, Void Rush. It's important to know that Kali has different types of attacks and each will serve a different purpose, but for now, we are introduced to our very first Void skill. This will be your bread and butter while playing Kali moving forward. It also gets enhanced like crazy, and I mean absurdly crazy. In the first job advancement, you can only use this right or left, but at least that solves our horizontal issues after using your up jump. The skill has a cooldown of 5 seconds, but that can be lowered with our next skill, which is also our first arts attack called Crosscut. This will be your main attacking skill for now, but even more importantly, this skill reduces the cooldown of Void Rush by 1 second with each attack that successfully hits a mob. This will also apply to all future art skills. Also, keep in mind that the cooldown reduction does not multiply per number of mobs in the group you attack. It only reduces it by 1 second, even if you hit 5 mobs in one attack. Hopefully that makes sense. And then to finish it off, here are your passives. Thankfully, Void Rush gets greatly enhanced in the second job advancement with the passive Insanity 1. This enables you to dash in 8 directions, so vertically, horizontally, and even diagonally. Your dash now does damage to enemies, and you are able to cancel the dash by pressing the jump key. You also enter Dark Sight for 2 seconds at the end of your dash. However, it gets cancelled if you use an attack skill, so be wary of that if you're trying to use it to dodge something. Next up, the art skill Crescentum is going to be our first skill where we can start comboing with. This attack can be used after or during Void Rush, and depending on the direction you use Void Rush, Crescentum will change its attack animation. Note that this skill reduces the cooldown of Void Rush by 5 seconds instead of 1, which means it can completely skip the cooldown of your dash. This will help tremendously in getting your Kali to move crazy lengths. Unfortunately though, this skill has a 5 second cooldown, so you can't just spam Crescentum and Void Rush. You will have to use other skills such as Dual Edge. This is another art skill and will also be your accompanying attack skill. Nothing too fancy with it, but the animations do look smooth. Actually, all of Kali's animations look smooth, and I am so down with it. I love the theme of this class. It's a nice mix-up from the typical black-red theme that so many of our existing classes have. I'm looking at you, Kane, Ark, and Dark Knight. And to end it off, here are your passives as well as your weapon booster. Unfortunately, Chakram Booster isn't a passive, meaning you will have to actively buff it yourself. In the third job advancement, your dash gets enhanced once again with the passive Insanity 2 and the Toggle Void Enhance. This time though, you can dash twice in any direction with the cooldown starting at the first dash. Combine it with Crescentum and now you've got four consecutive dashes. It's important to know that using any skill other than Spark or a Hex skill after your initial dash will not allow you to use your second dash. 
Which brings us into our first hex skill, Chakram Sweep. Using any of these hex skills will not cancel your ability to consecutively dash. Void Rush also acts as an animation canceller for all your hex skills, which is important specifically for Chakram Sweep because this skill shoots you backwards upon using it and that can be detrimental in certain bossing situations. To keep yourself in place, use Dash downwards immediately after Chakram Sweep. Just be careful when doing this though or else you'll end up like this. The next attack you get is Triple Bash. Again, nothing too special with it except the animation looks even nicer. Now you get your second toggle of this class called Summon Chakri. Chakri? Chakri? I don't actually know how it's pronounced, sorry which is coupled with the passive Resonate. Essentially what this does is, well, it summons Chakri. These little things have a 30% chance to summon when you kill enemies with a Void skill, or a 100% chance when you cancel a Art or Hex skill with a Void skill. So for example, using Chakram Sweep and then canceling it with Void Rush will have a 100% chance to summon a Chakri, but just killing a mob with only Void Rush grants a 30% chance. Honestly, just use it as a star forcing simulator without the booming. Every time a Chakri summons when you kill with Void Rush means you have hit that tap, so what are you waiting for, man? Go tap! Well, now that you've summoned these little guys, what do they even do? Well, great question, sir. If you use a hex skill within vicinity of the Chakri, it summons one small Chakri per, and each of them will attack mobs three times with priority targeting on bosses. And to finish off the third job advancement, here are your passives. Can you guys guess what gets enhanced in the fourth job advancement? No, no. Unfortunately, not Nexon's communication, but instead Void Rush, which is even better, right guys? <laughs> <clears throat> Insanity 3 allows you to use your dash three times consecutively. This is what I meant by Kali's dash goes hard. I mean, look at her. She's insane! You also get your second Void skill called Void Blitz. It basically acts the same as Void Rush, except it's an attack skill. You can use it to cancel your hex skills all the same, it puts you into Dark Sight for 2 seconds after using it, and etc. The nice thing about this skill is that you can right click it to change what key activates it. So by default, the only way to use it is by pressing the skill itself. However, if you right click it, you can now press Void Rush without any directional keys to use Void Blitz. This is a really nice way to cancel Chakram Sweep without worrying about dashing downwards or really any hex skill you want to cancel. Which brings us into our second hex skill, Chakram Split. This guy has a 14 second cooldown, so it's kind of long, but it's still awesome for mobbing because it throws out 4 massive chakrams and then returns back to you shortly after. You can manipulate it to go further by chucking the skill out and then dashing away so that it chases you on its way back. There is a max limit to the distance it will travel though. Our third hex skill is called Chakram Fury. This one has a 12 second cooldown, so again it's kind of long, and when used mid-air, it causes you to float temporarily. That's it. And then you have your fourth job arts attack called Flurry. Again, nothing special. A cool little animation though, I guess. Then you get your first iframe of the class called Desert Veil. It makes you invincible for 3 seconds and you can move around while the iframe is up but just make sure you're not using any skills except Spark and Void Rush, otherwise your iframe will be cancelled. And then here are your passives and your typical 4th draw buffs to finish this off. Hyper skills on Kali are awesome. Firstly, you get your usual class buff, Divine Wrath. 
This increases your damage by 10% for 1 minute and also buffs any other floor members in your party. The next one isn't an attack, but it's a buff that immediately resets the cooldowns of Void Rush and Void Blitz upon usage. It also reduces the cooldowns of Hex Skill's 4th job and below by an entire 50% and increases the final damage of Hex and Void skills by 30% for 30 seconds. There is a 3 minute cooldown on this though, which makes Kali a 3 minute class when bossing. Now I promise there are cool ones, such as Death Blossom. This bad boy is a 30 second summon with a 90 second cooldown. It attacks surrounding enemies all while summoning Chakri at the same time. It's great. Alright, last but not least, we have our 5th job advancement skills. Starting off with our last art skill, Astra. This is a passive skill that activates every 14 seconds when another art skill is used. Not much to it, but it does great damage and is fantastic when it comes to farming. Next up is also not an attack, Resonate Ultimatum is a 30 second buff that essentially injects your summon chakris with steroids. Instead of them summoning one small Chakri, it summons two that do a lot more damage than without this buff. The cooldown on this is also 3 minutes. Okay, so finally getting into the 5th job attacks, you get a 3 second Hex Summon that has a cooldown of 30 seconds. At the end of the attack, it explodes all over its enemies, dealing massive damage. And then you have your second iframe of the class, Void Burst, which also has a 3 minute cooldown because it's more so to be used as a part of your burst rather than for survivability reasons. I believe you are invincible during the entire duration of this and thank goodness for that because this skill covers your entire screen. It's really impossible to see what's happening. Make sure you spam the skill after using it to do extra damage. You can tell your key presses are registering when you see slices in the attack, otherwise if you don't press it again then it'll look like this. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god Aetherius, this class has a million skills to use, how will I afford these nodes? I don't want another Hayato. Well, thankfully they grouped some skills together, so you really only need two set of tri nodes. No more than Eren, the best class in the game. So the Chakram Sweep icon also boosts Chakram Fury and Chakram Split. Resonate icon also boosts the Deceiving Blade. Flurry icon also boosts Crescentum. So then here are the tri nodes you want to be looking for. That's it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this, but I'ma be honest, I don't do many guides. I mostly do fun little things like star forcing, cubing, PSSB opening videos and whatnot. You can catch me making a guide here and there though. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where you can ask me more questions. Link will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye